Right. Oh, nice and warm here, Jack. Anyone sees you in the street, I saw you for years. And my dad said to me, that's so-and-so, he needs to teach me art at school. And then when I finally got to meet you, it's like, I don't know, you speak volumes without opening your mouth. What makes you happiest? What makes you grumpy? Most things make me angry. <laughs> what makes you happy then? Dispute and argument. That makes me happy. I like the debate. I like trying to make my case. For instance, I've been a member of the English-speaking union for many years and was a judge. You were a judge? Yes. I didn't know that. Aye, aye. What's the key to accurately communicating yourself and getting your point across? I think sympathy for the other person's point of view. I just like talking. What was the biggest lesson you learned in life? I've never learned any lessons. <laughs> I have not learned my lesson. <laughs> I've got to say that, absolutely honestly. And the only bit of advice I've ever given young people, never stay in a job if you hate it. Never leave one until you've another one to go to. I started off as a wooden graver. But, yes, I'm a, a, writer, a writer for newspapers. Went to Edinburgh College of Art as a mature student and got involved in the National Student Students. And I was asked if I would write for the Guardian Education. Then later on, I started doing work for the Times Educational Supplement. Let me ask you this. How many words do you think I've written uh, in my career? Four billion four hundred and eight. Is this is this how you chat people up, Jack? No. It's not working. No. <laughs> I have this perpetual sense of feeling old and also feeling like I'm not aged a day. Do you have anything like that? I feel old all the time now. And I tell you, there's not a single thing of being old is good. Ain't nothing good about being old. Ain't one goddamn good thing about being old. If I was getting younger, baby, you'd meet a new man every day. You can I try and wear your hat? It has been still, right. still a very long good thing. Oh, I like it. So you got it, man. I look good. You see, you don't quite pull it off. I'm rocking it, man. I don't like that. You don't like that? I don't. I don't. <laughs> well, I'll make it look good, eh? Being quite a good listener most of my life, been not good enough. Not as good as I could have been. And that's advice. Ask more questions of the, the other generations. I can tell you about the dreams I have. Recently, I've been having an awful lot of dreams. Uh, you ever get a dream that you're falling? That's something to, uh, a dream of falling off uh, a skyscraper. There's another dream. That's an anxiety dream. Often, you ever get one about animals? I get one about a tiger. Everybody's running about, but the tiger only has eyes for me. Your mind is actually interpreting it inside your dream. In other words, particular anxieties or worries you have, you'll turn it into something else and you'll, have it, you'll dream about that. Dreaming is a means of filtering out information you don't want and filing away information that you think you want to keep. I just thought a, a parting thing. I'm on this road and I come across a jack in the middle of the long road and you just say, as a parting thing, take this, Stuart, what would it be? Try not to get too disillusioned.